Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here, and welcome to my new channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. And much like the white walls in my white shirt, this is a blank, clean slate, and we are starting anew. Forgive me if I look a little tired, I just woke up from a really delicious nap, and as I woke up, because like when I sleep, as I'm coming out of sleep, my guardian angels whisper to me, that's how they communicate with me and I was instructed to really just go ahead and be bold and delete all of the old videos that had existed on this channel and really start afresh and anew. You know, in order to get a channel monetized, we talked about this on the video that I created on the old page, telling you all to come this way. <clears throat> you have to have 1,000 subscribers and you need to have 4,000 watch hours. So, you know, there was a part of me on the inside that was like, you know what, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to, I got to get those views up. I got to get those views. I got to do something that's, that's popular to get the view. But no, you know what? I'm going to relax into it. We're starting afresh. We're starting anew. And I, part of what made me tired in the first place was really thinking about embarking on the endeavor of just regurgitating old content on the new page, a page that I've been working on, really shifting from the old direction and into a new one. And so I was just like thinking about the daunting task and I just, I, I, I started retitling and making some of them uploading and making some of them public. And I was thinking about the schedule of releasing and all of this. And I was like, you know what? I really, I just, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And I went to just go lay down and just clear my head. And when I woke up, I got the message, you know what? Don't do that. Delete all those old videos. Delete all. The Remember that little boy? Delete that. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> so I was just, I was like, you know what? I am going to trust. I'm going to trust that I will be carried, that I will be cared for, that I will be taken care of. And that what is meant to be shall be. And the direction that we're going in is the direction that we were meant to go in. On this channel, we're going to... I have a few ideas for what it is that I'd like to do on this new channel. One of the things that I would like to concentrate on is solutions. Listen, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed doing the old videos that I was doing. Like it was an evolution. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still waking up. There was an evolution of how my videos got to the reaction videos. And I enjoy doing reaction videos because we get to, I get to keep you abreast of what's happening currently. But one thing that I didn't like was just, you know, sitting there amid all different types of, you know, theatrics. And then really just leaving it at that. So on this channel, when we when we do a reaction to a viral story there's going to be some sort of solution there there's going to be some sort of food for thought something that you can sink your teeth into and create changes in your own life or other people's and so that's the purpose of this channel and the direction that we're going to go in so i welcome you to the new page i um we're going to listen we're going to grow and shift together i don't know if the length of videos may change i don't know if now when i create videos you know i'll be dressed up or whatnot i, I really don't know i'm gonna leave that open but i do know that this is the year that i'm starting a matchmaking service matching black american women with west african men who are both here in the United States and creating pairs and unions from that because it's like, you know what? It's like, I listen, I listen to some of the other vloggers. I have my favorites. You know, I listen to them and I just, I feel this feeling of just despair. I'm like, okay, so these are the issues. This is what that, but what is the solution? What is the solution? And you know, there's so many of us who are we're doing our own thing behind the scenes. You know, we're dating, we're relating, we're doing our own thing. But then we come out to the public and we, it's like the same, the same like with the news. Like what is really the difference? Like the news with the gloom and the doom and the murders and the this and the that. And at the end of the day, you're left from the video 
feeling this sense of loss, feeling this impounding sense of just nihilism without anywhere to really vent those emotions or release them or have any hope about things changing. Now listen, I get it, there are gonna be some people who are like, yeah, you know, they, they want to they want to vent and grind their teeth and all of that. That's good. We have got listen, venting is a part of release. However, once we finish venting and we finish, and you know what? And I think that, oh my goodness, I just had an epiphany. I just had an epiphany. It's like I think that's one of the downfalls that that happened in the 1980s when Oprah had, you know, all of the women coming out and talking about and, and, and venting and releasing about all of the things that they didn't like, all of the things that they wanted to be changed. But there was never really a coming together. I remember, <clears throat> and we'll get right back to this point. I remember I was watching this, I was watching this guy talking about how black women of the 80s, and then so listen, we today are being held accountable for things that grown-ups were saying in the 80s. Some of us weren't weren't alive then. Some of us were very young then, but it certainly wasn't us on those shows venting. So Oprah brought these women out and they vented and they got it off their chest and they let the world be known. And I saw this guy who was talking about how black black women, you know, do all of this, don't, don't uh, criticize their men publicly and all this other stuff, right? And I'm like, well, you know what? If you think about how we've traversed in this country, so, okay, if you say something enough times behind closed doors to a person and they're not listening, at some point, there's going to need to be some sort of next step. Because if you're not hearing me, and I need healing, and these things are legitimate things that are happening, where do I go for healing, comfort, release, right? Where do I go to repair? And so this black guy was saying this stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, were the gripes not legitimate? It's like, on the one hand, people want you to shut on the mold. They want you to close your mouth, be quiet, sit there, and endure. They want you to just shut the F up and just endure. Right? They want you to be loyal. Ha, ah, lordy, 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 lordy. Meanwhile, the loyalty on the other side just is not there. But they want you to be loyal, they want you to be quiet, and they want you to be faithful to them. Even when they are not loyal, when they're not quiet, and they're not faithful to you. So I was like, were, were the gripes not legitimate? And what ended up happening is men started feeling some sort of way. I feel some sort of way. She's saying all this stuff about me. Oh, what I'm saying about, about me. Don't know. So now what we have is we have a bunch of black men now bitching. Oh my God, bitching. <laughs> bitching all over the internet about black women, this black women, that blah, 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 blah. And I remember I saw this, I saw this guy today checking other black men and i was like oh snap let me click on this video and see what homeboy is doing oh he's checking his brothers because the title of the videos was like brothers this is not the way and i clicked on the video and to my eyes surprise what do you think this man was talking about i'm like we've been in this fight for 20 years if not more 20 30 years we've been in this fight with one another. What is this elder coming and schooling young blood about? And it was some video of some guy who had downed what he claimed were 13 Percocets on camera, right? I don't know if they were, you know, people do anything for the YouTube fames or the Facebook fames now dice. And so he was like preaching to the young blood or oh, this, that, oh, you can you don't follow these, don't follow these future could rap about what he wants, you don't follow. And I'm thinking to myself, son, of all the things, of all the things going on and wrong in our society between one another, where black men need to teach in school, the younger generation, this is going to be where you start with all of this other stuff in disrepair. So we don't have the elders reaching back and being like, on a mass scale, being like, brother, don't call those women thoughts. Don't this, don't that, respect this, that, know what. The Me Too movement is, is, the Me Too movement is legitimate. 
women have legitimate gripes. Instead of really reaching back and being like, how can we be better? Like if a person, you know, see, this is where a lot of men, this is where a lot of men make their downfall in relationships. Ladies, let me hear, let me hear if you know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll talk to them a thousand times about what it is that you don't like, what it is that you need to be changed. And they consider it nagging. They stop listening. They don't hear you, this, that, and the other. And then it's time for your black ass to be out. You're done. You didn't talk to him a thousand million times. You finish. And then you're like, you just, you feel numb on the inside. I was trying to explain this to a guy the other day that when a woman has shifted inside, it's over. That's it. When she is done, it is done. Right? And then the men, they, they, they flounder out of the relationship and they're like, what went wrong? What happened? This was totally unexpected. She left me. Oh, she left me. Oh. And then they're like, bitches ain't shit. But, and then, but then you have to speak to them and you have to counsel them. And you're like, well, think back. Think back. Because this was not without warning for the most part. Most cases, it's not without warning. I'm like, think back to the stuff that she said to you that had you, that, that, that she kept saying over and over and over to you. Think back. What are some of the things that she was complaining about? And it's like, they, for the most part, they don't put two and two together. Some of them will even come back to you and they're like, but why? Why? And you're like, we've been talking about this for years. But it's like, they just, they don't get it until the consequence comes. And then by then, once the woman has made the shift on the inside, it's too late. And it's like, for far too many men, that's what they need. They need that pain on the inside to help them create a different choice. But one of the things that I'm seeing nowadays is the response that they have to that pain is to bitchily, <laughs> bitchily, to bitchily lash back out. When look at what you women's ain't doing, the women's, and then they go in their toxicity and they continue to perpetuate the same madness, the same madness. And so one of the things that I saw, which kind of got me to where it is that I am right now, is <clears throat> I saw a young man who then was now attacking black women who have decided to shift and to date black African men. And he's attacking these women. Oh, you couldn't make it with black American men. You couldn't this, you couldn't that. That's why you had to. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, if you knew that is not a downgrade, son. And it's like, I personally feel that there needs to be a lot of educating about that. Uh, it's been one of my, I don't want to say a little kept secret because I didn't even realize that the bulk of the men that I had dated, that I was in healthy, functioning adult unions with were all West African men. And it, it, it was never, it was never a, an intention of mine. It was kind of like a shift. Like, you know, you're in, you're in these relationships, you, you start dating in the very beginning and somebody starts telling you or behaving in a way that you know is a lie. Like, you know that that's a lie. You know, you don't deserve that. And you just shift and you go towards and then you, you find who mirrors what it is that you are reflecting out from your life. And when I look back, most of the men that I had the healthy functioning relationships with were all black West African men. And so now the black American men are now starting to be like, how dare you? Because they, they had the issue when black women were turning towards Caucasian men. Oh, bed wench this, oh, bed wench that. But what can you say about a black American woman turning towards the original man? Oh, I said it, I said it. Because black women, because of how 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 furtive our genes are we don't necessarily want to dilute we don't want to dilute our genes and wash out the blackness but we want to be in functioning relationships where we are celebrated not just tolerated where we are the main attraction not an option right and it's like what can you say it's like these people want to keep you in this vicious cycle where you are 
down in the mire with them where you can't escape from the dysfunction and the toxicity with them. They want to keep you in this dysfunctional dance where you are kept, listen, oh my God. And I knew that it would happen. I didn't think that it would happen so soon because now I've gotten black men to come out and my videos, now that I've begun talking about which direction it is that we're going in. And they're like, how dare you say this about black American men? We, we married, we're good fathers. And I'm like, baby, instead of coming onto my video saying this, please just reach back and teach the young men, teach them. What changes can you really make? What changes can you make? You know, I feel like we're going to dive into this a lot. I think that I think that this is the year that we just really roll up our sleeves and we do the work on ourselves where we give ourselves some tips and tricks like you all ask about my flawless skin and the the fitness journey that I've been on behind the scenes where we really dive in. Now listen, I'm not sure for sure. I'm just going to play it by ear and be obedient to my higher self and listen and allow myself to be guided to be a vessel for the greater good and the higher cause. So it's like they're coming out and they're like why? Why are you saying this, Tanya? And I'm like, have you gone to census.gov and, and looked at the, the rates? Have you, have you looked at the rates? Only 29% of, I, and I have to check the new numbers for, for 2020. But according to the last time I checked, it was in the 20s. So let's, let's put it right in the middle, 25%. Let's say 25%. 25 only 25 only 25 percent of black men are married that leaves 70 percent unmarried 75 percent and i'm actually really thinking that the number is like 21 percent and 79 percent are unmarried but on this channel we're going to dive into the numbers we're going to get very familiar with the numbers that my dear is a bad gamble and it's like, instead of really looking at yourself and being like, what can I do as an individual and as a human being? What can we do as a collective? Because when the stats started coming out in, in, in the census for 2012, when it said that, <clears throat> when it said that 75% of the student body for historically black colleges and universities were women, 25% were men. And then of those men, I believe it was only one out of three would make it to the finish line. Listen, I'm, but I'm not sure. I don't want to quote bad stats. But what I'm saying is, or two out of three, I don't know. We'll come back to that. On this channel, we're going to jump all into the stats. We're going to do a lot on this channel. So, but where were the people all in the, in the 90s and the early 2000s? when the stats were showing that there was an increasing number of black women getting educated and an increasing number of black men just sitting behind, standing on a stoop, allowing themselves to become a product of the system. Who was there to be like, when these 75% of women get out of college, they're going to need husbands, they're going to need mates, they're going to need men. But now what it is that we have is we have a pandemic going on in our community where only 21 to 25 percent of black men are getting married. 79, almost 80 percent, 75 to almost 80 percent of them are not getting married. And then the women are coming out producing children for these men who are not standing up and our community is continuing to falter and tumble. When do we break this cycle? And so I've decided this year, we're going to do something about it. I am a certified clinical hypnotherapist. I am a life coach. And now I'm becoming certified as a matchmaker. And we are going to create the shifts that we need to make to be able to do what is best for the globe as a whole because it is time that we came together you remember like back in the days when royalty would match up the children of royalty and they would create amazing unions it is time that the lost children of africa now got enveloped back into the fold and my matchmaking service is going to bring these nations together and allow us to rise up once and for all. Yes, oh, the face of this earth shall change. Yes, it shall.
we shall not stay the same. We are coming together. And listen, this was a 20 minute video. So let me jump out of here. I want to hear your feedback and your thoughts below. Please comment below. I want to hear what it is that you have to say about this subject. Which side are you on? Are you on the side of progress or regress? <laughs> Do you like the new channel, the new channel idea? What are some things that you're looking forward to? What changes would you like to see on this channel? What changes would you like to make? And on that note, Tanya TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? Love yourself. And part of loving yourself is doing what is best for you. And I'm here to help you figure out what is best for you and how to get that done. All right? Peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified. And make sure that you leave your comment below. Come over to tanyatko.com and subscribe to my personal mailing list. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace.